Welcome back to Arvo's with Shane. Anyway, I haven't thought of a name properly yet. Oh. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mate, that's unreal. G'day. Welcome back to Arvo's with Shane. Arvo's with old Shane. Shane's afternoons. Anyway, I haven't thought of a name properly yet, but uh, what I've been doing is after work, I've been going out fishing and, and just mucking around. And I keep catching these fish and I never bring the bloody camera because I'm only ever going out for you know, like an hour, a couple of hours, that sort of thing. So, what I'm going to try and do is bring you guys along each afternoon that I do this and hope to make a bit of a compilation or something. You can tell, but she's bloody cold and windy today. Horrible, but a good day for where I am. Anyway, let's give it a crack. See how we go. This is absolutely mental. I don't know if I'm just crazy for even attempting this. The wind is far. It's hectic. Oh well. Here now, I may as well give it a go. So the plan. It's going to be walk down the shore with the wind at my back and blind cast at the end of these reeds. I've been getting a fair few good fish like this, so because they tend to be sort of tailing in along here of an afternoon. I don't even know if you can hear me. Anyway, let's give it a go. There's proper waves out here, you could surf these. Can't even hold me rod. Hopefully that means the fish won't be too spooky. Oh, I spooked one just then. Oh, there you go, they're here. Will they eat a grasshopper? That's the question. Oh, come on, gotta be one in there. It's so windy. This is such a joke. Oh. Alrighty. I've come down to the other end of the dam because that was just getting a bit ridiculous. It was proper windy. Oh, jeez. Oh, I was proper frozen there. Just chatting with a bloke camping there, he just wanted to have a yarn, which normally I'm all down for, but not when I'm, sorry, not when I'm bloody cold like this. So, I'm just gonna hop around this edge. Whew. Fish this little done pattern. Not get wet. Hopefully, pick up a fish. Just missed a really good fish. You can see the gob on him, that was a good fish. Damn it. Man, that's frustrating. May have been too quick on him, it's hard to tell. I doubt he'll come back. seemed like a really good fish. I only half was too quick. Maybe should have given it another another second. I don't know. Just felt the weight of it and then gone. Oh that's a little one. Better than none. Yeah, I mean, 
where'd she go for? I've got to stop getting these gloves all fishy. Tiny little guy. Not happy with his watery environment. It seems. That way up. Alright, well. Missed a big one, caught a little one. Right, let's get a good one then. They're definitely here because. Well, that was pretty old two and two casts. And they definitely want to eat this, which is good. It's just a little done pattern. That's what I love using here. It's got a nice bloody white wing on it. It stands out. Just barely sipped that too, that little fish. Could have just been it going under. We've come around the other side here for the afternoon. I wanted to go up the other end, but there's bloody people everywhere. There's bloody plenty of bugs around, that's a good sign. Although sometimes I think there's lots of bugs. There's a big hatch today and they all ate heaps. I don't know. I'm just gonna fish these edges. See if we can pick one up. That's right over that other side, but the wind was just wasn't real windy, it's just choppy. Well, that's a fish. Come on, over you come. It's a good sign. Might mean I've got the wrong fly on, but there's a few more casts for this, and I'll change over to a spinner of some description. There's something nearby. There was one spooked in there and I wasn't watching. He jumped on. How good. Is he alright? I'm not a bad fish. That's what I find, like I missed that one yesterday. I find if I'm not seeing the fly, like if I'm not watching it closely, I'm better at setting the hook because I'm a little bit later. I can bench him up here. Not ready yet. No bad fish at all. Yeah, nice. 44, yeah, you're not bad. How good's that? Probably about 44 centimetres. Not a bad fish, probably. I don't know. 
Okay, that's right there. Give him the extra wall for a bit of an ideal here. I'm trying to get a photo, but he can't put in there. But how good was that? I was actually, I was about to cast again. I spooked him out of him. He took off and when I took my eyes off it, I just saw the, the heat right at the end, which I was just saying before, I think that's better because you don't, if I'm watching, I get too antsy to set the hook. Whereas if I just miss it, it gives it that second for the fish to turn and then, and then actually get the proper hook set. It's good. Happy with that. Happy with this fly, it works really well on here. Anyway, let's see if I can get another one. There's still a bit of sunlight here. <coughs> There's a bloke down to my right. I was talking to him yesterday. Just giving him some well, advice of what I've learned fishing in here. When I just walked past, it looked like he was stripping wet flies. I told him to do exactly what I'm doing here. Now after I've caught that fish, looks like he's doing the same thing. <laughs> oh, this one. Keep coming over. Oh, there's another bow there. There's a few fish in here. Let's drop back even further. Yeah, they're definitely feeding along this shore. Cavalry's arrived now. Hopefully they got the sense not to start fishing right next to me. Yeah, I don't understand that. Two blokes within 50 metres of each other and he starts fishing right in the middle. I drove to the other side of the lake because there was three blokes in one corner. Right, right, back for another Arvo sesh down the local. You've probably been hearing me talk about a, a backcountry trip. We've <laughs> we've tried twice now, and and uh, yeah, really struggled and not caught any fish. And it hasn't been the adventure that we've wanted. So we went out yesterday and walked 24 k's, and I'm bloody sore and stuffed. But I just can't help coming down here and having a crack and at the moment especially after yesterday I need a little bit of confidence so just uh yeah hopefully we will finish that episode at some stage I just you know we'd really like to actually catch some fish on it let us know in the comments if you if you'd be interested in seeing us struggle and not catching fish because maybe I'll post it anyway because it's a pretty good footage in there I think anyway so I'm just going to run the same tactics that work for me just going with the black spinner today. I don't know. Um, yeah, I haven't even looked at the water, so I don't know if there's anything going on. Another bloke just left and said, "Nah, there's no hatch, no fish." I said, "Nah, bullshit. This is when I catch them." So same tactic. I'm just going to roll with that black spinner, see what happens. I can see in my favourite little corner there's a whole heap of ducks and swans stacked up. I had a suspicion, but I didn't know this, and I got it confirmed by. A guy who actually knows what he's on about. So again, let me know if you know this or if you've heard of this. But apparently, the ducks and swans eat the um, eat the nymphs. So 
because I tend to find that when I find them in a spot and I fish, I catch a fish. And uh, yeah, this bloke confirmed that yeah, they eat the nymphs, so if they're there, the nymphs are there and usually the fish are there. So I can see that down in that corner, so I've got a nice gentle breeze today, which is lovely. So I'm just going to fish all the way up this shore, down into that little corner. And um, hopefully we get a fish. I really just want one, just a bit of a confidence fish. Just, <laughs> I don't know, stroke the ego a little bit after struggling in the back country. Ooh, so yeah, probably just stay for one fish, hopefully a good one. And I'll go home and rest a little bit. Let's see if I can make it happen. It's a little bit clearer actually today. I can really see the bottom just there. Um, I might just fish that outer edge of weed and then skip over to down there where it's a bit more. A bit more what I like to see, which is the deeper, the deeper edge right up against this reedy stuff. Just saying, I think it's a bit, a bit bright still for my plans. They're normally not up tailing like this, or in this shallow stuff when it's a bit brighter because you can. No cover they can be seen, I suppose. Hi. How you going? So, hey. Seen any movement? Where are you fishing? Yeah, saw a little spinner just before, but only one. Did you serve me at the shop? Could be. I work at the shop, so probably. Yeah. Highly likely. Yeah. You camped up here, are you? Or? Yeah, that's the camp van. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, well, they should they should come on once it gets a little bit darker. Yeah? Yeah, we'll get them. Just, um, if, you, if you're staying here, come yeah. down this corner right, just as it's getting dark. And, um, and side, yeah? yeah, just right in that corner, like behind all those swans. You'll see they're all, they all start tailing right as it starts to get dark. Hence the name Taylor's Shore. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I've caught a lot of fish along the shore. It's a good spot, so. Is that where you're headed down? Yeah, I was just gonna go and mosey up. Probably just work this corner and up that side a little bit. Mm. But it's, yeah, it just seems a little bit bright at the moment. I normally get them when it's really overcast. Sort yeah. of this time, this time up till dark. And just yeah, spinner or a dun, just just like you're doing along these weed beds. Well, I'm from West Australia. All oh, right, eh? So, any advice? Be greatly appreciated. Yeah. Mm. That's um. Yeah, I'll go for a, a wander, have a few casts. There you go. See, mm. go and have a go at that. Go. Yep. Mm. And you just put it, just leave it out there near him, and just sit it. And a lot of the time they come back for it. I love fishing here, it's so good. He's probably eating something and then cruised off, but yeah, I'll literally just, just walk and just pop cast there, leave it for five, 10 seconds, walk along a little bit further on. Um, when he takes it, mm. how long before you strike? <laughs> That's the hardest part. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I've been missing a lot lately, just yeah. getting a bit too touchy on it. You sort of two seconds maybe, one, two, then a slow, like a slow, you don't, you usually don't. It's just like you're going to cast again sort of thing, like, like that. So is this what you do, Sean? Just check you out there? Sure. Pretty much, like I'll even, I'll even just cast if I can't see him. You, yeah, you could even just put a few casts in just, just off, off that weed there. And just be careful because they, they can be right there at your feet sometimes. Yeah, it's usually in this little bit of calm water, just before that wind lane, that's, that's usually where I get them. Yeah. I'll just go for a bit of a walk down here, see if I can spot one in those reeds. I haven't seen much movement, but...
Oh, here we go, here we go. Just there. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this corner's magic. It hasn't shown up again though. A little bit shy. There you go. Yep. Yeah, you go right up next to him. There we go, there we go. Always oh, on it. No. Nah. He's missed it, refused it. Whoa. He was coming, or oh, he might. Jeez, he's thinking. Just leave it, see if that other one comes over. Go. Yes. Yes. Let him run, let him run if he wants. Oh! Let him, let him take some line, don't, yeah. Okay. Mate, that's unreal. That's a, that was the second one too. He came right over. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mate, that's unreal. He's a good little fish. Oh, mate. <laughs> well done. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, good. Yeah. You got your camera? Yeah, that, I got that all on, all on camera. Oh, did you? Yep. The whole lot? Yeah, the whole lot. <laughs> oh, mate, that was textbook. <laughs> you right there? Yep. Okay, there you go. Yuki, Yuki. He's right. <laughs> wow. How good's that? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that's unreal. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, I just ran into a bike that I. Saw at the shop today, and he's from Western Australia. And he's never fished, or he's never caught a fish out of um, this lake here. So yeah, I just sort of we got talking, and I just told him how I how I would fish it. And yeah, as you saw, I caught that one pretty much straight up. And I was going to head off, like I said, I was really just here for one fish. So I ended up fishing with him for a couple of hours, and um, yeah, you would have saw him catch one too. So uh, that's yeah, the first fish he's got out of this lake, and he's been fishing here. Well, he's Traveled here to fish uh, a lot over the years, so it was really cool. I was, um, yeah, yeah, it was probably I probably enjoyed that more than catching that one myself. So <laughs> cool experience. Um, yeah, I think I started coaching him then when he was fighting that fish, and he's been fly fishing for 40 years. So <laughs> don't mind me, the fairly novice trying to tell the bloke he knows how to fish out of fish. Anyway, yeah, it might end that there. I don't know. We'll come out for another one. Probably do one more Arvo in this in this little compilation, so we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're back for another Arvo's with Shane session. This is probably, possibly, probably the last one um, of the season, so season ends pretty soon and I've got to go back home for a bit and do a few things, so yeah, probably the last chance I'm going to get. Um, as you can see, it's a pearler of a day, very unlike Tasmania. Uh, I'm out here on one of these lakes. I've been here a couple of times. I haven't caught any fish out of this yet, but 
I'm aiming a Polaroid, so I'm going to walk around sort of behind me there and hopefully spot a few. Um, I just had to re-rig, so I just thought I'd run you through the gear and that that I use. Um, I've actually just purchased myself a new reel, so that one there is the Lampson Liquid, the size 5. It's a beauty little reel. I actually haven't caught a fish on it yet, so... Um, but yeah, really, really nice. The reason I bought it was because it comes in a little kit with three, uh, three separate spools. So you can swap it and I can run a sinking line and that sort of thing. But yeah, really smooth, really nice little drag on it. Tightens up to way more than I'd ever need. Um, yeah, hopefully today I can catch a fish on it. Uh, the rod I got there is an Orvis Clearwater 5 weight, 9 foot. Um, yeah, really, really good. This is, it's only the second fly rod I've ever had, but from what I've, you know, haven't used this and fished with it, yeah, very happy with it. I don't think I'd buy anything else. We run, it's just a floating weight forward line down to a um, tapered leader, which then I run to a little tippet ring. And off the end of that, I've been running at the moment, just the Scientific Angler's um, Absolute Stealth. I think it's just a poly leader, but it's like that green sort of color. Yeah, yeah that's it there. So that's just in a 4X. So off the tippet ring, what that's a nine foot tapered leader off the tippet ring, I'll probably only run uh, two or three feet from that. And uh, yeah, tie your first fly on there. So um, I'll whack that on. I'll show you what I'm going to use on the end of it. Yes, yeah, so I think that lead is actually a, um, a poly, not a fluorocarbon. Um, and it's a 4X. So I was using four pound up here a fair bit. And everyone said that's too light for a lot of these fish. So um, since I've been using this, I haven't had any problems. And I, it, I don't think I've spooked any fish because of the leader. Um, like I said, it's that kind of greeny sort of color. So it really. Uh, sort of hides itself really well and floating as well definitely helps when you dry fly fishing Just saw a father and son that I saw at the shop there this morning put them onto a little done that little done pattern I've been using That sort of thing Yeah, I put them onto that and They got a good fish off it It's always um, yeah good to hear good to see Maybe new to this, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Good to get reports of people catch fish when you, you know, off your advice. So I'm just going to go single dry fly for now. This is all these fish you've seen. Um, this is exactly the same how we've been catching them. Same leader, single fly, that sort of thing. I've got a and nymph I'll try later on if I can't get anything on this but but this time of year supposedly is the jacids and these sort of beetle patterns do well out here Jesus so that's it there A little jacid pattern so I'm just going to run with that for now and I'll mix it up later if that doesn't work I think I spotted a fish just staying down. I don't know if it's a fish or a stick. No reaction. It's a fish, it's not moving. was a fish. <sighs> Got a bit jumpy, I think. Alright. Definitely ate it. I think I've spotted another one. was one that was really close to it. I can't tell if it's a fish or not. It's not, it's a rock. Stand down. 
Yeah, that was really weird. That fish was pretty well just sitting doggo like right on the edge of where I could see, so I wasn't sure even if it was a fish or not. And the fly landed nearly on top of him and he turned around and ate it straight away. So, um, yeah, the, half the battle's won. They're eating, well, they ate the jacid, so it's enough to persist. Just got to find another fish. I've come pretty well as far around the lake as I want to go because any further and I'll end up with the sun in my face. So I'm just going to walk back the same way I've come. The good thing about this, well last time I was here, um, same thing, but the clouds came over. And I walked back up and down the same beat a couple of times and kept spooking fish. So they obviously just kept coming back in. So I'm fairly confident if I stay on this side and go up and down a few times, I should be able to run into some different fish. Anyway, let's keep looking. Jeez, I'm playing the stick rock or fish game again. I hope it's not the same one I just cast up. No, I don't think this is fish. Right, I came right back around that same side. I'll get out of here. And I didn't didn't see another fish. It's a bit weird, yeah, I really thought. Oh. Perfect conditions. I thought I would have seen more. Perhaps it is the time of year. A lot of people said it's the wrong time of year to be out here. It's close to sort of the end of the season, and spawning season. And maybe if they are all just sort of sitting doggo like that one I saw. If they're out in the middle, yeah, you no chance of seeing them. Yeah, cooler weather, moving, not moving around. I don't know. Anyway, there's still there's a little bit of sunlight left it's pretty hard like i haven't got a heap of visibility just because of how low it is in the arvo and coming into winter but it's warm it's really warm afternoon so i'm gonna go around the corner and try one of these other lakes have a little bit of a look there all right let's get out of here while i still can all right i guess we'll end that there um, yeah, run out of days like I was saying before. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you like the trout content. At the moment, where we'll be heading back to the mainland and going north. So, yeah, the the barra and all that that'll be back. Um, but yeah, it's probably on the cards to do a bit more trout stuff in the future. So let me know what you like. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.